The length of lead rope between the item that you choose to wrap or tie uh, is very important. If it's too low, she could hang a foot over it and you can only imagine what might happen. She hangs a foot, it's pulling her head down as it's tied to the pipe. Uh, some, th some bad things can happen if your horse panics and is not very well prepared. Uh, so what I like to look for, and if again, if I have it too long from this perspective, let's say she couldn't necessarily get her her foot hung in it, what she could do is if she gets close enough, that lead rope might get up around up around her ears. So if she were to put her head down maybe to get a fly, you see how that could happen? And then what's happening is that lead rope is pulling on the back of her head, and as she's tied to something fixed, you can see what kind of trouble the horse might get into. So that's another reason why I try to wrap, because if this horse was wrapped and she were to panic, that would come undone. So a good gauge, what I like to do, is whenever I tie or, tie or wrap a horse, I look for that lead rope. Like I said, about a, I mean, I got pretty long arms, but I want to see about a forearm and about a foot, foot and a half is what I'm looking at, what I'll call it. You know, short enough to where the horse is not going to get hung up on, but also long enough to where the horse can, you know, maybe walk for a little bit. She can tip her nose. She's not just snubbed up to the fence. See how she can move her feet 180 degrees? And it gives her a chance to run into the rope instead of that rope always being slack. And where it is the most slack, it's right there next to the wraps. So that's a good gauge. And another thing what I like to do is before I leave my horse, I like to see the length of lead rope and the length of tail that I allowed. So that if I come back and it's moved that much, I know she's pulled. If I know that it's been snubbed up, I know my surface was didn't have enough grip, meaning it was very slippery. So then maybe uh, three wraps might not be enough. So I also want to test the friction on the pipe, but I really want to gauge and see, okay, that's the length of lead rope I left you at. And when I return, I want to see how much it moved, lengthened or shortened.